We don't always have to rely on the algorithm when subtracting, if we understand what subtraction is. Here are two ways of thinking about subtraction. One way we can think about this is asking ourselves, well, what's the difference between these numbers? And direction matters. So if we're starting at the second number, called the subtrahend, how can I get to the first number, called the minuend? So pause here. How would you get from 37 to 85? For me, one way that I would do this is jump 40 from 37 to land on 77, and I know the difference between 77 and 85 is 8, so in total, I jumped 48. I call this method friendly jumps because the jumps are friendly, even though I'm not landing on a nice number. Another way we can do this is jump 3 from 37 to land on 40, and jump 45 from 40 to land on 85, so in total, I jumped 48. I call this method friendly checkpoints because the checkpoints are nice. And another method we can do is called same distance, same difference, or constant difference. If we add or subtract the same amount to both numbers, the difference is the same. So if I add 3 to both of these numbers, the difference between 88 and 40 is much easier for me to compute than the difference between 85 and 37. I can see that the difference is 48. Now, another way to think about subtraction is the idea of taking away. I personally like to do this when the second number is a lot smaller than the first number. So with the example of 107 minus 9, I don't have to take away all 9 at the same time. I could take away 7 first to land on 100, and then take away 2 from that so the answer is 98. And this idea of takeaway works well for some problems when we're subtracting a negative. For example, we can read this as negative 5 take away negative 4. So literally take away negative 4. And we see that the answer is negative 1. And if you want to figure out what year someone was born in, we can use this idea of takeaway as well. So I know a lot of people's first step in a math problem is to go straight to an algorithm. I've seen a lot of people do the standard algorithm for 100 minus 98, which, to be honest, it's your life, you can do whatever you want. But if I had to give one piece of advice for these types of problems, I would say make sense of the problem first and then go from there. And for subtraction, we could think of can I think of this as takeaway? Can I think of this as what's the difference? And when we do that before going straight to an algorithm, we can build our number sense.